Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So, in the past month, I wasn't following the diet that I made with ChatGBT. All I was trying to do was eat intuitively, and like trying to stop when I was about 80% full, and then just kind of see what would happen after. It was pretty unstructured in comparison to what I was doing before. It felt exactly like what I was doing before I even went on a diet. And because of that, I kind of fell back into my old habits. And I went back up to like 222 pounds or something. So I feel like there's probably going to be a middle ground for me somewhere. Because just following a super rigid diet isn't really going to be sustainable because I just like variety too much. And then when it comes to eating whatever I want to eat, or just kind of eating at a whim, I feel like it's very easy for me to just do what I used to do and just go buy a meal at a restaurant. Like that's always the thing that does it for me because like one meal at a restaurant's half as satisfying as a home cooked meal, but like three times the calories in my experience. And then after I've eaten that, my mind's just like, oh, okay, well, I messed up, so I'll just not eat it again tomorrow. And then I just eat more of that stuff that day because, oh, I'm just not going to eat it tomorrow, so I'll eat it today to enjoy it before I don't eat it tomorrow. So that's kind of my main problem with food, and it's kind of frustrating. So I'm going to keep trying to figure out a way to find balance with it. This time I'm still going to count what I make, but I'm going to pretty much only eat food that I know I like. I'm gonna try to keep it within my calories. So I like white rice and I like beans. So I'm gonna have white rice freshly made every day. So it'll be like the best rice that I can have. I have a rice cooker, so it's really easy to do that. And for beans, I like them and they're very versatile. So I can put them in with my yogurt each day. Maybe that sounds weird, but if you do that with some honey, it's pretty tasty actually. Or you could even just like blend up the beans with like some olive oil and salt and seasoning and like you can have that as a dip or you can even just eat it like that. It's pretty good. So like every day I'm going to eat 150 grams of rice and 70 grams of beans. These are the dry weights. It's easier to manage the calories that way because after you cook them, depending on how much water you have, it fluctuates. So I measure them as dry, it's just easier. And when it comes to high protein, it's pretty expensive, but I'll try to make sure I'm hitting at least 100 every day. That'll be pretty easy, because I, I like eating four eggs a day. And realistically, if I just eat like pretty much any piece of meat, I'm pretty much there already. I was considering doing protein powder, but I'm really just not interested in it. I'm gonna make sure to have some fermented foods every day, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to just get healthy, not necessarily lose weight. Of course, I want to because it's just, I look and feel better when I'm not overweight. That's my personal opinion. I also like feeling like I ate a lot because I'm just, throughout my whole life pretty much, I've just been used to just eating a lot. So I think I'll try to eat larger volumes of like less calorically dense food, like watermelon, for example. I can literally just eat an entire watermelon. That's like a thousand calories. I mean, that's still a lot, don't get me wrong, but it's not the easiest thing to eat a whole watermelon, but I definitely don't feel bad after. It's like 300, 300 grams of sugar, though, but it's probably better than eating like four donuts, you know, because of the fiber, and there is actually protein in a watermelon, too. Like, the last time I checked, the size of, like, the watermelon I had was like 300 grams of sugar, 1,000 calories, but it was like 60 grams of protein, too, so it's not bad, actually. So as for what my diet's going to look like exactly each day, I'm going to have an amount of white rice that I enjoy because I just love eating white rice. It's good. I'll make sure to have it with some vegetables each time and protein. I'll try to hit at least 100 grams of protein. I really don't want to go for like 150, even though technically that's what I should to uh, maintain muscle mass while I lose weight. I'm really just, it's not easy to eat that much meat. It's expensive too, and I just don't want to do it, honestly. So I think like 100 is still like more than the average person. And I'm only working out like four days a week now anyway. So because I walk so much, I think more carbs will probably be better anyway. I'm going to keep trying to avoid like processed sugar and excessive oil consumption like mayonnaise or just not measuring my oil. 
I'll measure my oil. So as long as I hit 100 grams of protein every day, I have four cups of vegetables. That's pretty much all I'm gonna really ask for myself for the next month. I'm gonna try out varying weights with different foods, like, like rice for example. Right now I'm eating about 500 calories of it a day. And I'll eat as much fruit as I want. Like I won't really limit myself there because even if I eat a lot of fruit, at least it's very filling because of all the water content. And while it's high in sugar, it's high in fiber, and some of them can be high in protein too. That's all there is for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.